welcome to educational channel so in this video I came with one interesting question this is the digit detector so based on some questions how to find out the digit if you see the questions are interesting so you should find out the number but they give 8 questions here so but 8 questions answer is same so that is if you observe I am the 3 digit number and I have an odd number I should be divisible by 5 each of my digits is different and my digits add up to 8 the tens digit is smaller than the hundreds digit I am less than 300 I have only one even digit so this is a detecting like these questions you can frame and give the children they can enjoy the maths while they are doing now let us solve this uh, puzzle also in this the step by step we can take so you can question I am the three digit number that means we need to take and it's an odd number so we have three digit number means we can take the zero one because we don't know exactly what it is let us take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So this is the detecting case. That means step by step we need to remove all from this one by one. So in this the uh, 3 digit number. So out of this we don't know which are the 3. But you see the next two statement. If you observe I am an odd number. So odd number rule we should remember. So all the odd numbers the units place must be odd digit that is either only 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 so remaining we can take out that means should not be 0 so not 2 not 4 it's not 6 it's not 8 right now these are only the odd digits that means end of the number must be among this that means units place so the last digit must be again next one so last digit must be among this right total we have 3 digits so last digit must be among this and see the next to come now if you see the next one I am divisible by 5 divisible by 5 that means the units place must be the divisibility rule of 5 if you observe the units place must be either 0 or 5 so in this there is no 0 only 5 that means last digit must be only 5 right these also not step by step now this is fixed so out of uh, 3 digits Units place is 5. We got it. Now each of my digit is different. Okay, all the digits must be different. And my digits add up to 8. So if you add, it should be 8. That means only these three places. So it's already 5 is fixed. Units place. Now only tens and hundreds place. But total is uh, 8. Total is 8 means already 5 is there. So remaining is 3. So tens place and units place if you add 3 should come. That means among this only we have 1 and 2 chance. Either 2 or 1 or 1 and 2. These two only chance. Because units tens place and units place must be 3. Because already 5 is fixed. And 3 and 0 also may be chance. So 0 and 3. So like these cases. Only these cases. Now if you observe. And each of my digits is different. And one more thing. The tens digit is smaller than the hundreds digit. Okay, tens digit is smaller. So units tens hundreds. Now tens digit is smaller than hundreds. Now only can keep in this way. And tens digit. Okay, is smaller than the hundreds. Tens digit is smaller than hundred. Either two one or three zero. That means two one five or three zero five next I am less than 300 so less than 300 means so up to here we got 215 otherwise so 305 but this less than uh, 300 is the case and I have only one even digit ok less than 300 means there is no chance and only can keep here right so only so finally I have only one even digit so based on this uh, 8 questions finally we got the answer is 215 just use a like a digit detector detecting type we can make as a fun with maths so you can frame different questions and you can make the audience to entertain or you can give the children they can find out the answer by based on these questions meanwhile they can learn all the concepts behind the maths one by one also right so this is one of the question I am giving for simple to detect the final answer now answer is 215 